This is a quick video to show you how to set up all chords on your computer. Download the all chords zip to your downloads folder and open to reveal the all chords setup application. Double click open and follow the prompts. Please close Ableton before proceeding and also connect your launchpad at this stage. Agree to the software license and next you'll be prompted to choose from applications your version of Ableton to install the Orchords remote script. If you've got more than one version of Ableton you can run the uh, setup app more than once. So now Orchords is installed, uh, click OK to open the Getting Started Guide. The Getting Started Guide explains how to set up the MT Player app. This app uh, does all the processing for all chords and you need to run it each time you use all chords. It sits between your launch pad and Ableton Live and converts all the MIDI data from your launch pad into chords that go out to Ableton. So uh, setting up this carefully follow the steps that I've got here. You go back to applications uh, and open your app MT Player ST. Make sure that your launch pad is already connected and if we come back here you'll see that when you open it for the first time you have the MT player window plus you have these MIDI uh, port chooser windows that pop up this is basically uh, MT player asking you to make the connections between the chord name and the MIDI ports I have all of the possible connections in a table here the first ones for the launch pad should happen automatically if you have your launch pad connected the second ones for MT Player should happen automatically also. The next two for Touch o, uh, OSC are for using your iPad or iPhone with all chords. Uh, you can select none for these if you don't want to use. You can also configure this later so it will be no problems to select none. Lastly you've got the external keyboard so you, if you want to use an external keyboard with all chords as well as your launch pad you can set this up here now. You can also do it later, uh, in which case you can select none here too. So over here on the window, it says port name alias from external keyboard. I come down here, look for external keyboard, and here I need to select my MIDI keyboard or none. Click on the drop down box, select a keyboard, and uh, I can hit cancel if there's no change. If there is a change, uh, then I can hit OK. Once that's done, everything should be set up. However, if you get any window like this, it means that uh, MT Player is looking for a connection that it can't find. In this case, it's looking for Touch OSC Bridge, which is the app you need to use if you're using uh, all chords with your iPhone or iPad. Uh, if you're not, then you can just close this and ignore it. So now uh, we're all set up in MT Player. We just need to set up uh, in Ableton. So we can go back open up Ableton Live 9 move this out of the way for the moment open up preferences go to the MIDI sync tab and you'll see here that we need to select the all chords remote script and it needs to be connected to MT player 1 and MT player ST1 we also need the Launchpad remote script selected, so you can select Launchpad uh, and Launchpad for the input and the output. Down here, uh, we need to select All Chords Input for MT Player ST1 for Track and Remote, and do the same for All Chords Output for Track and Remote. Note that the Launchpad uh, for Input and Output is uh, turned off for Track and Remote. This is because we're routing the MIDI messages from the Launchpad into the MT Player app and then onto Ableton so we don't need to send it directly. So now we've got everything set up uh, you can hit the user 2 button on your launch pad uh, drag in a VST and we should be able to play chords. that's how you set up all chords on your computer. If you go back to uh, MT Player, you
you can access the manual at any time by clicking on this question mark and the All Courts manual gives you extensive instructions on how to use the application so I thoroughly recommend that you go through some of these pages and learn how, how it works and how to use it and how to get the most out of it. Uh, so that's it, that's how you set it up, I hope this helps and uh, enjoy All Courts.